All right, thank you. Uh, I want to thank, first of all, Aging 2.0, Stephen, for having us. We were introduced with uh, Stephen uh, about a year ago at the Hallmark. We came here uh, with the Jaren Technology, uh, teaching older adults how to use technology in general. Uh, at the Hallmark, there was a course with Pace University, and the, the teacher has students coming here, teaching the residents how to use various forms of technology to age in place. So, we were introduced to Stephen, we were introduced to the wonderful staff, Sheila, Whitney, and Jonathan as well, and, you know, Chris and myself have a, a telehealth startup company that I'd like to talk to you about today. So basically, first of all, what is telehealth? You know, the very basic definition is telehealth is delivery of health-related services and information through telecommunication technologies. So, what does that mean? Well, older adults, we want them to age in place healthy without having to travel to a doctor's clinical physician's office to take their vitals. So we developed a, a, a tool where patients uh, and older adults can do this at home. They can take their blood pressure, their weight, their blood oxygen saturation levels, as well as answer daily questions to keep them engaged with their health and wellness. And on the other side of it, a, a doctor or a nurse can monitor their information without actually being there physically at their home. So we decided there was a few priority areas that we were going to use to kind of solve. We wanted to increase the quality of care. What does that mean? Well, we wanted to make sure that people can access the same quality of health care by living in their own homes. And also expand the access, you know, instead of people who live here, they can actually do their own information at home. People in rural climates as well, where they have to travel 30 miles sometimes to see a doctor. We want to make it make an effective tool to allow people to age in place. And the last thing we wanted to solve as a priority area is reducing overall healthcare costs with early evidence-based interventions. So our tablet on the right is our mechanism where people can take their uh, various health data inputs such as blood pressure we mentioned, blood oxygen, uh, blood glucose levels, weight, um, temperature, pain levels, medication reminders, as well as answering daily questions personalized to their health and wellness. All that information is very easily uh, accessed by hitting the start button. It's a voice dictated guidance program where the older adult or patient can answer their questions and take their metrics. And Chris is going to talk to you a little bit about how the clinician side of it takes place. Thank you, Dave. So this is the second half of the service that we have, is the clinician dashboard. Uh, this is an example of a couple of test patients uh, I would like to show you. So as Dave was mentioning, on one end, we have the patient putting in the data, um, and this is what the nurse will actually see. We designed a, a quick snapshot for the, for the nurse to see what are different priority areas that they have to attend to on a bunch of their patients. Um, so you can see it's color coded based on, based on uh, the parameters that they set for them. Um, and what's great about this, as Dave was saying, we have a voice dictation service where it'll speak written notes to the patient and they can reply back. So it's a two-way um, secure communication between the patient and the provider. Um, and also the nurse can also write clinical notes based into the program. And uh, so that's that. Our most frequent work, um, David was alluding to, working with the Hallmark. Um, we have a, uh, we're, we're very lucky to be a recipient of the, the Pilot Health Tech New York City um, grant competition. And there were 250 applicants here, it was based in New York City. Uh, we were the recipient of that program. So um, again, we also partnered with Peace University to use their undergraduate students as well as their nurses. Uh, to be able to um, assist older adults in learning the, the technology and actually taking their vitals. Um, so this is a six month program, we've been going with it. And here's just a quick snapshot of how it looks. We have four community sites, about 25 patients each, and we have a, a student that's actually assisting and helping the, student, helping the older adult uh, use the technology and also remotely monitor. Um, so we're really excited to do this and also see how it can really affect the whole different um, social economic diversities in New York City. So that's really what we're working with right now and we're really excited to continue this program. And that's how we're trying to use telehealth to actually, again, lower, lower overall costs, improve quality, and better access for the older adults. Um, thank you very much. If you have any questions, we'd love to answer and hear your input on what um, health technology can do. Right. <laughs> 
fantastic presentation just on the wire in terms of timing. Uh, just a question, uh, Celeste. Are you partnering with any hospitals or uh, who are you partnering with? Yeah, that's a great question. We're actually in, uh, very recently we've been starting to speak with different hospitals, Cornell Medical, um, and also, so we're based in New York City and also Westchester community. So we're starting to start to begin as we're doing these more research studies. We had one in March, it was very successful. We leveraged that to get this grant. But now we're starting to, now that we have 100 plus patients as a startup company, we're looking to start to work with hospitals and actually build relationships. That's the current phase we're in. Uh, what about long-term care, home care, long-term care facilities? Do you have a connection? Yeah, we have a... Uh, Can you just repeat the question? Yes, uh, the question was about long-term care. What is our uh, business plan for that? Uh, we have a, a, a partner of ours, which is a home care agency based in Long Island, and they have uh, patients from MLTCs that they need uh, critical care to take their vitals. So we have designed our program to be a multi-user kiosk mode where any tablet uh, can be accessed anyone's secure profile with the four-digit PIN um, and the site ID of the patient. And that information uh, gets securely transmitted through HIPAA compliance servers, so a nurse can only see the signed patient's profile. Yep. Hi, Sasha. What is hard or will be hard for others to replicate about this? Well, see, we, we kind of... Yeah, that's a great question. The question was, what is going to be hard to have any other com customer replicate our model? Well, there's a lot of other, telehealth has been out there for 10 plus years, and what we try to distinguish versus the bigger companies is we have the kind of bridging the gap between healthcare IT and also delivering that information. We work with both the, the clinician side of it as well as uh, the patient side of it as well. Sometimes you go to a, a bigger company, they only have a solution from one side of it, and sometimes the one side of it doesn't understand the other side of it. So we try to be the person who's with them every part of the way and working on um, designing a solution for their personal health and wellness. And just a second, just a second part of that answer. Um, with Pace University, we're taking also the research and educational uh, angle with it. So when we're not only having a student help take the vitals, but also teach them how to use the technology uh, for sustainable to actually have kiosks set up in different places as well. So we don't want just the students to help take the vitals, but also teach them on their own um, way to actually use the technology too, because it's scary for them and having assistance, having building a relationship with, with an intergenerational a student is a model that's um, starting to work and actually take off really, really hard right now. What was the hardest thing when you did the pilot? What sort of the biggest challenges you encountered? I think one of the biggest um, is teaching them, uh, introducing this to them because this technology is very new and it's very scary. And this, we've had a very big learning curve with, um, when we first started two years ago and we started to, we're learning more and more every day what are their needs, and so basically, to tell them about this and show them that it actually helps them, that was where our original um, study was in March, and uh, it went really well, and we started to show them how this works, and they have to see it, and that's probably the hardest part to introduce this to them, because it's so foreign, yeah. and they don't know what technology can do for them, so that's, okay. Last question, Matt. Uh, yes. Uh, do you provide oh, the equipment that's needed or does a patient have to purchase, purchase it themselves? Yes, yeah, so that's a great question. Uh, we have two different models. We have the self-care model where they, each patient gets their own kit and their own electronic hardware. They can purchase and release it and have a monthly service to access a nurse. Or we have the assistant model. For example, a place like the Hallmark, there's you know 200 plus residents. We can build a kiosk where that, that information can be shared with multiple users. They can access it in an independent or assisted living facility. There's another question. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a question, but a suggestion. Yes. In your marketing, this um, when you focus on the consumer receiving it, it would be helpful to use a couple examples of outcomes. Mm -hmm. So, like, what are the results of this gathering of information? But focus it on the consumer, mm -hmm. and then also focus it on the provider. Right. So, so that's part of the, it's not just what this does and how it works, but also what was the impact and what was the result. So I would just suggest yeah. Thank that you for be part of the presentation. Okay. All right, great. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you.